What is going on you guys? John Barcicolas here. Today we're back in the shop with a new build. Today we're gonna be installing the Traxxas original part number 8058 chassis conversion kit um, uh, from long to short wheelbase. Um, meaning from the Land Rover wheelbase chassis to uh, the short wheelbase which is uh, the blazer like this one or uh, the Bronco um, uh, and the story here is this is a used T-Rex 4 Defender chassis and uh, I'm gonna be converting it to a short wheelbase chassis which uh, is gonna be suitable for the uh, a body such as the Blazer, TX4 Blazer as, as you see here in the box this one is a brand new one I bought it in uh, orange and white like that picture there on the box I will uh, get it out of the box later in the video and um, it also suitable for the uh, Bronco and I think there are some more models but I'm not sure but those are the two main ones originally and uh, so basically what you see here is I already took the body off and the wheels the defender wheels and um, took the bumpers off as well just set it up on uh, four 3d printed jack stands this is the original kit that you can get for this because it has i will get it out of the uh, packaging i will show you all the pieces in it but uh, basically the main difference with the trx4 defender chassis which is this compared to the other one is that the links on this one have to replace to be replaced with shorter ones um, the Bronco or the Blazer, they have the uh, inner wheelhouse or whatever they call it. It's like a, uh, a guard for uh, mud inside. The Defender is built in the body. This one is different. And um, there are a couple other things that have to be replaced within the kit. And also, I noticed that the... Uh, these stub axles as they're called this one um this one is a little bit shorter we're talking about uh, five millimeters or slightly more than the blazer or the bronco ones because this obviously was a defender and um, how it is it, there's just enough length and thread for the nut obviously to just go on and you know lock the wheel from coming out but the um, the blazer or the Bronco factory wheels, as you can see there, they have a hubcap, so it's called, and that needs the, the shaft needs to be longer so the the hubcap can thread on. So I had to purchase these uh, extra length shafts. These are from Fast Tracks. So here are the contents of the chassis converging kit. You have the inner wheelhouses or uh, mud shields, as I like to call them. They're like an inner fender for the um, for the chassis, not like the defender, of course. You have four of them, and they're also labeled. For example, this one is labeled LR, which means left rear. This one is LF, which means left front. This one RF, right front. And this one is right here. And uh, also, by the way, they, these are the holds, if you're wondering, for the uh, rock lights. And uh, also, I don't need them, but they don't come with the blank panels like a small piece of plastic and the screws. And I don't really need them, but I'm kind of surprised they didn't come with them. But anyway, um, I don't need them, as said. So this is like a small battery tray which goes in the front. It goes here I will show you when it's uh, mounted this I believe is a small uh, adapter for the uh, drive shaft because uh, I think it's gonna be shorter this one is shorter than the one that's in it and these are the links you have four of them and two are uh, slightly shorter than the other ones that's the very small difference and uh, from what I remember the longer one goes on the they go on the bottom so the one that goes from here to the chassis not the one that goes from there to the upper part but there are four little screws for this i forgot to mention but so right now i'm gonna be putting in these 
new stub axles, as I said, because I have to replace them so I could uh, run the um, Bronco or the Blazer wheels. And I'm going to do that beforehand, um, before I put the inner fenders, so I have more space and more room. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go and replace the links, the four links of the back and also we have this part which is a replacement for this part of the drive shaft. It is slightly shorter than the one on it right now. It comes with the kit and you have to replace it. So this is all pretty easy and uh, straightforward stuff so uh, you shouldn't have any problems but what i'm gonna be basically doing is taking this screw out taking the screw out take this out also the screw this will come off same for all the other three
guys, so here she is, finally all finished. She looks very, very, very nice. It's been a long dream to be able to own a limited edition orange blazer TRX4. This thing is amazing. Hopefully you see this pretty soon on the channel, guys. It's gonna be a shelf queen, but I will do a couple of videos every now and then with it. Very, very nice looking rig. Thank you guys for watching my video. Bye and see you. Bye bye.